Faith Kipjegen. What an amazing season did she have. But before we recap her 2023 season, let's short dive into her life and career leading up to this last season. The eighth out of the nine children, Kipjegen grew up on a farm in Abibit, a village in the Rift Valley province in Kenya. Like many kids educated in rural areas, she had to walk and jog many miles to and from school. She started off her career young, already at the age of 16 in 2010, during the Junior World Championships in Poland, where she finished fourth. She participated like the Junior African Cross Country Championships in Cape Town, South Africa, and Snowy World Junior Cross Country Championships race in Poland. Let's watch a short clip where she tells that she started with cross country racing barefooted and rejected some spikes from Nike. Um, I started uh, 2010 when I was very very young uh, with the cross country in uh, Poland and that's where I ran, I, I ran barefooted in 2010. It was really uh, muddy and then I thought yeah I Thank you, Nike. You are uh, my sponsors, but I can run with pure food because I didn't know how to use spikes by then. But uh, I can say it has been a really um, uh, unique journey for me until where I am now as Olympic champion. Yeah, it was really funny because you know running pure food and you are being given spikes with. Uh, from your, your sponsors give you spikes and you are like, hey, I don't know how to use them. Let me use the, the uh, what I am comfortable of. And for me, I was comfortable running barefooted because um, I feel, uh, I felt comfortable and I thought, let me run barefooted and the, and, and the future is coming whereby I will run with spikes. And now I am, I'm running spi with spikes. I don't know how to run barefooted anymore. It's, yeah, it was a little bit challenging, but I can say, uh, yeah, because of the young age I was until today, well, I'm so grateful. Her first senior major events at an age of 18, 2012, were the London Olympics, where she finished 16th, and a year later at the World Championships in Moscow, where she finished 5th. She achieved already so much before she became a mom in 2018, namely the 1500 meter Olympic gold medal in Rio 2016, Winner of the World Coast Country Championships in Uganda 2017 and the 1500m World Champion in London 2017. When she became a mother, she faced a conflict of many women athletes, between family and career. She said, I was so afraid, maybe I will not come back. Maybe I will just disappear, she said. Back then she thought it was maybe the end of her career, but that wasn't true of course. She took a year off and gradually rebuilt her stamina, strength and speed. In a vibrant comeback, she seems stronger than ever. She won a gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics, and last year, also the World Championships, Eugene made her the first woman to claim four global outdoor titles on the 1500 meters. So she is the greatest female male runner or 1500 meter runner ever. There are more examples of mothers who came back strong during their athletics career. For example, like Alison Felix, the 200 and 400 meters US Olympian runner. And also Shelly and Fraser Price from Jamaica, and of course the famous 100m sprinter. They both won medals at the Olympics after returning from giving birth. Well, it didn't stop there. Let's now dive into her most amazing season ever, this season of 2023. She won all her races except the last one. With not one, not two, but three world records, two time world championship gold. Her season started off with a cross country race over 10 kilometers in Eldoret on February the 4th. Kenyans most often run some cross country during the off season. She won the race pretty easy, although there was tough competition and a longer distance like the 10k is not her specialty. Later on in the season she continued after some months of hard training on the 5th of May at the Diamond League in Doha, probably under hot conditions a decent time of 3.58.57. In her second Diamond League, she broke her first world record, and it was clear she was in top shape again. She took the world record by almost a second from Kanzebe Di Baba set back in 2015, in a time of 3.49.11, the first woman to run sub 3.50. One week later, with the confidence of a world record shape, she took also the 5000 meter world record at the Diamond League in Paris. The time was 14.05.20. The record didn't stand long because it was later that year broken at the Eugene Diamond League 
final by Gurav Chige from Ethiopia in the time of 14 minutes and 2100, so close to the 14 minute barrier. Now after this race she had time to go back home for more training and to compete in the 5000 meter trials in Nairobi. Apparently she didn't have to race the trials over the 1500 meters. She won the trials in the Nayano National Stadium in Nairobi on the 7th of July in a comfortable time of 14.53.90. She also looks pretty comfortable during the race. Later at the end of June in the Monaco Diamond League the 21st of July she returned back to Europe to end her world record spree on the mile. Another world record. The mile in the Diamond League in Monaco at the Stade Louis II she produced a time of 4.07.64 with a 1500m split 351-41. This was her last race before the World Cup in Budapest. So now, after this world record spree, she was definitely the favorite for Budapest. In Budapest, she competed in both the 1500m and the 5000m, where she had to run two series in the 1500m and one in the 5000m as well. With quite comfortable qualifications in these races, she was definitely the favorite in the finals. But she still had to watch out for strong good of Chige and Sifan Hassan. Eventually we saw of course what happened and she managed to win both the 1500m and the 5000m event. What an amazing performance. After the world champs in Budapest she didn't take any downtime though. But went already half September to the Diamond League final in Eugene. In the Eugene Diamond League final on the 16th of September she took her last win of the season and again a very good time of 3.50.72, almost breaking the 3.50 barrier again. Then to her last race of the season, it was the 1500 meter Road World Running Championships in Riga on the 10th of October. Here she was surprisingly beaten by the young Ethiopian Jiribe Vatille in a Road World record for 20.98, which is not incredibly fast though, but probably fate was already a bit tired from the long season. She was in the lead for most of this race, but in the end she got overtaken. I made another video about this, which I will link to in the end of the video. At this moment she is only 29 years of age, so a lot more can be expected from this amazing Kenyan runner. She said after running her world records, I dedicate these world records to all models out there, knowing that everything is possible. I told them already that by going on maternity leave and coming back, you will be stronger than before. Next year at the Paris Olympics, she is definitely the favorite for both the 1500m and 5000m title again. We'll see what happens there. This was it for today on Faith Cup and as always, if you still go out there today, have fun and get on the run. <laughs>